So in this video of the Neural Networking for Dummies series, I'm going to be talking about bias. Now, if you haven't seen the first two videos, make sure you go check those out so all this makes sense. All right, so today we're going to be talking about bias. Now, before we do that, let's recap a little bit. We know these arrows are called tensors, and they contain our weights. We know that from the first episode. Now, let's go ahead and feed some data into our neural network just for review. So step one, we take our input and we multiply it by our weight. So in this example, let's use 0.5 and our input of 2. So 2 times 0.5 equals 1. That becomes z. We then pass that result z to our activation function. In this example, we'll use the sigmoid activation function, which is, you can see on the screen. And when we do that, we get a result of 0.7. Now, we then take that value of 0.7 and pass that to our next weights, or multiply that by our next weights in the next layer. And, that, and for this example, let's use a, a weight of 0.75. So we have 0.7 times 0.75 equals 0.5. We then pass that value, again, to our sigmoid activation function. And that gives us a final prediction of 0.6. Now, when training our neural network, we would take this value of 0.6 and calculate our loss. And that would, that's basically when you subtract it from what the value should have been based on your data set. We would then adjust our weights and run through the process again, and hopefully our prediction would get closer and closer to our expected output. And that is the process known as training. Now, in this episode, we're going to be talking about bias. So we're going to be adding another step here. It's pretty straightforward. Let's get started. Now, we're going to start by graphing some data here, because I want to give you an intuition for how bias works, and then we'll jump into some examples. So let's graph a simple data set here. It doesn't matter what it is. Now, let's also graph our neural network, okay? Now, let's suppose that this red line is a neural network that begins at the origin that's attempting to train to fit this data set, right? So we can make, make predictions against this data set, using this data set, okay? Now, the one thing you might notice is that the, the blue line, our data, is shifted up a bit. So if we attempt to fit this or tr fit this trend, right, with our neural network using this red line that's, that's supposed to exemplify that, you notice it'd be a lot better if we were able to shift our line up and start somewhere besides the origin, right? Start our arrow, start drawing our arrow a little bit higher, right, to, to more coincide with the data. Now, this concept that we've demonstrated here with this graph of shifting our function, right? Shifting our neural network function. This is the idea behind bias. Now, let's go ahead and take a look and see how we implement this mathematically into our neural network. We're going to draw what should be a very familiar drawing up on the screen here. We'll draw our neurons. Remember, first layer is our input layer, or our data. The middle layer is our hidden layer. And the last layer is our output layer, or prediction. Now, you remember those arrows are called tensors, and they contain our weights and our bias, which we are going to default to some random values here, say 2 and 1, and then 3 and 1 in the second tensor. Now, let me show you how this works mechanically. So let's feed some sample data into our data set, say a 3. Now, we take that 3, multiply it by our weight of 2, and the next step we're going to add here is we are going to add our bias to that. So in this case, our bias is 1, so we take 3 times our weight of 2 plus 1 equals 7. So all we've really done here when it comes to bias is added an additional step. It's really just an additional, um, additional type of weight value. Okay. Now the result of that gets passed to our sigmoid activation function, and that gives us a result of 0.99. Now hopefully you're starting to pick up on the pattern here, and that 0.99 would then get multiplied by the weight in the next tensor, plus the bias would give us a final value of 3.97. We would again pass that 3.97 to our sigmoid activation function, and that would give us a final prediction of 0.98. And that's pretty much it when it comes to bias. It's really just adding another term after we multiply by our weight. So at this point, you really have a good understanding for how neural networks work, um, at least at a high level and, and a conceptual level. Um, so in the next video, I think what I'll do is I'll do another video that kind of ties all this together. Um, and then we're going to start getting into how these weights are updated, right? Because that's really the key to all this, is getting those weights updated to the proper value so you can make predictions. 
All right, so that'll do it. This is a new channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching.